Good afternoon, everyone. It's May 16th, and it is another gorgeous day here on the southeastern coast of North Carolina. And today, I want to show you what I believe is the best way of trellising your indeterminate tomatoes. I've covered almost every method of supporting tomatoes there is on my YouTube channel. I've discussed staking and single stemming your tomatoes, which I'll link to above, and is probably the simplest and cheapest way there is to support your indeterminate tomato vines. I've covered placing cages around your tomatoes, which I've tried with smaller determinate and dwarf tomatoes with some success. I've built strong trellises out of T-post and welded wire fence, which I will link to above, and that is a significant notch above using tomato stakes because it allows you to grow multiple main stems and support them beyond what tomato stakes can do. And just recently, I showed you how to Florida weave your tomatoes using simple twine and wood stakes, which I will link to above as well. While all of these methods have their pros, they also have their cons. The cons of using tomato stakes is they offer the least amount of support, so you are forced to prune your plants to one main stem or have a tomato plant that grows out of control, overwhelms the stake, and eventually fruit clusters will get knocked off and branches will snap by winds and storms. The cons of using cages are they're almost always undersized if you buy them at a store, and even if you build your own custom out of something like concrete wire, it forces the tomato foliage to grow in a dense central cluster that inhibits airflow and low airflow means you're creating a breeding ground for fungal diseases. The cons of using T-posts and welded wire fence is it becomes very difficult to build the trellis with good strength taller than six or seven feet and in most climates the tomato vines will be growing over the trellis by midsummer and you'll have to top your tomato plants early limiting their late season production. And while Florida weave is a fantastic way to trellis smaller tomatoes like determinate and dwarf tomato varieties, it struggles to support indeterminate tomato vines. And just like the welded wire fence trellis, you usually run out of room at six to seven feet tall. This is where I want to show you the best indeterminate tomato trellising method that exists, string trellising your tomatoes on hooks. This method solves all of the problems of the other methods. It allows you to grow as many main stems as you want. It promotes airflow and helps slow disease by allowing your tomato plants to grow with a perfectly open center. And it allows you to grow your tomatoes to a virtually unlimited height. The height is only limited by the amount of twine on your tomato hook. I have over 20 feet of twine bundled on my hooks, so I can grow tomato plants taller than 20 feet if I want, which is impossible in my roughly 250 day growing season. There is only one con to this method. It requires more expensive infrastructure and more individual pieces of equipment than some of the other methods. Now, before I show you my setup, you can do this on the cheap. You can simply buy some seven or eight foot tall T-posts, install them six to 10 feet apart, pound them 18 inches into the ground and attach airplane cable to the top and you will have a five and a half to six and a half foot tall trellis. So you do not have to have a massive overbuilt setup like I do. You can actually do this cheaper than you can the T-post and welded wire fence method, but you will need some more equipment. Before I tell you the equipment you need, all of this stuff is linked in my Amazon storefront, so check it out in the video description if you want the items that I use to build this. The keys to my setup are 1 8 inch stainless steel airplane cable, airplane cable thimbles, clamps, and turnbuckles. You can purchase all of these as one single kit on Amazon eye hooks and or cup hooks for the posts, airplane cable cutters to cut the eighth inch steel cable, double tomato hooks with twine, and plant support clips. Now that you have all of the equipment that you need, I'll show you my setup and how it works. So the foundation of my garden support are these four by fours. They're 10 feet long and they're buried three feet deep. So ostensibly at the top of all of these, I have airplane cable that is mounted seven feet high. And this airplane cable is attached at each corner post, from corner post to corner post, and you can see it runs across the perimeter of my entire garden. On the beginning side of the trellis, I have the stainless steel cable that is looped into a U. And inside that loop, there's something called a thimble. This comes in the thimble and turnbuckle kit, and that helps the stainless steel cable maintain that rigid eye form. And then the cable is doubled back around, and then we place one of the clamps over it, and I used a simple pair of bolt cutters to compress the clamp and make it completely sturdy. And this end is fed over one of these open cup hooks. 
So what we do is we take our airplane cable and we cut it longer than the length that we need. And that's because we want there to be a little bit of slack for the installation. So what we do is we loop that through this piece called a turnbuckle. And we install the length of cable with the turnbuckle open completely so it's fully extended. And then we hook that turnbuckle on to this eyelet here. And it's important that you use a closed eyelet so the turnbuckle can't come loose. Then you simply take this turnbuckle and you turn it. You turn it to increase the tension and that is going to pull the slack out of the cable. As I turn this in, it pulls the cable this way and it shortens the overall run. And that is how we get a very nice tension in our cable. And then on top of all of our intermediate posts, I have this Blue Hawk shelf hook that I bought from Lowe's. They are a five pack for $20. They're made for indoor shelving. And on each of the intermediate hooks, I have one of them. And the purpose of these shelf hooks is to simply make sure that there's no slack in the cable. And this allows me to have a nice tight installation that isn't sagging in the center. So now you know how the overhead trellis wire works. I want to show you how it's connected. Here I have my cherry tomato. You can see how the cherry tomato has the twine running down and it's held on by these plant clips. So the clips clip onto the twine so we can simply follow the tomato clips up the twine and the twine go all the way up to those double tomato hooks right there. And on those double tomato hooks, you'll see there is over 20 feet of twine spooled. So I can, in theory, grow tomatoes that are over 20 feet tall with this setup. And this is actually what the double tomato hooks look like. They are manufactured by a company called A.M. Leonard. And while they are occasionally stocked on Amazon, they usually are not in stock. So I purchased these directly from A.M. Leonard. They were $5.99 for a 10 pack and they have coupon codes often so I was able to get actually an even better deal than that. So I have a whole bunch of these and they come pre-manufactured with the twine already on it and it's a synthetic twine, I think it's nylon, so it will not wear out and bend and stretch out with the elements like a cotton twine will. And the other thing that we need are these trellis clamps. These trellis clamps are what attaches to both the plant and the string. So right here is where the string will go and you close this piece around the string and then if you imagine my finger is your tomato or cucumber vine or whatever you want to grow that snaps on around that stem so this is the stem it's fully supported and then the string runs vertically and it hooks on to this so it allows very little wiggle room with the tension of the twine on there now let's show you how to actually attach the trellis clips to the twine you'll see that i started to attach the trellis clips to the twine but the plant continued to grow so this whole piece right here is completely unsupported it's growing off of the twine so what i am going to do is i'm going to take my trellis clip and i'm going to pull the twine towards the clip and then i'm going to partially close the clip and now that is going to hook onto the twine and it's not going to be able to go anywhere so i'm going to take this and i'm going to pull the main stem over and simply clip it like that. So now this clip is completely secure around the tomato main stem and as I move the twine it's going to take the main stem of the tomato with it and that is what is going to provide our support. And this system is very strong. We have had many wind storms with 40 to 50 mile an hour gusts this spring. It's been a very stormy spring and because the twine moves with the motion of the wind it actually doesn't fight against it so it discourages breaking. It's very strong and it's a great way to support your plants in much heavier storm winds than you think it would. Now that you see how the attachments work, I'm going to show you how to install a new tomato hook. So here is my cherry tomato again. You can see this main stem all the way over to the left is getting loaded with fruit clusters and it's completely unsupported. So if I don't add something to it very soon, it's going to snap under the weight. So now I'm going to show you how to add another tomato hook. I'm going to unravel the twine that comes with the tomato hook. And I'm going to put this rubber band that comes with it back on just to hold it securely. And I'm simply going to take this and I'm going to put it on top of the trellis. And I'm going to move it over here so it's roughly in line with this main stem that's completely unsupported right here. So now I have this new piece of twine that's hanging down. I'm simply going to move the plant over. I'm going to take this clip right here. I'm going to pinch it on and I'm going to attach that to this branch 
and that is going to hold the tomato plant main stem in place. Then I'm going to take another clamp and I'm going to put it on up here. And I'm going to pull the vine towards the clamp and hook it on. Just like that, this entire main stem that was completely hanging down is supported. But one of the absolute best things about this method is it's not just limited to tomatoes. It also is fantastic for staking cucumbers and anything else that grows vertically. Here you can see a cucumber vine. I'm going to have this trellising up as well. So all I have to do to trellis the cucumber is again take the clamp and then catch the, catch the twine with it. Then hold the plant and then clamp it around the main stem of the plant and that is going to help the plant climb vertically. You'll see this is a pretty big cucumber plant. I have two of these tomato hooks on there, so I'm going to do the same thing with this. And now that's clamped on as well. The other thing you'll notice is with these cucumbers, there's a bit of slack in here, so it's not holding with a lot of rigidity, and that is not a problem at all. There's a lot of slack in here, so all you have to do is tug down on this cable a little bit, wrap the twine around two or three times and that is going to pick the plants up. So now my cucumber plants are picked up and they look very different than they did before. This will keep them off the ground which will help resist pests that crawl all over the ground and keep that off my plants as well as provide more airflow for disease resistance. It's Sunday May 17th and as luck would have it Tropical Storm Arthur formed overnight off the coast of Florida and it is now right off the coast of North Carolina. And while it is not hitting us directly and we're not getting any rain, we have been getting sustained 20 plus mile an hour winds all day uh, with gusts in easily the 30 to 40 mile an hour range. So this is a fantastic opportunity to show you all exactly how these string trellises are handling such gusty winds with a tropical storm right off of our coast. Here you can see how my tomato plants are blowing around in the fairly gusty winds. And you may be asking yourself, how can a string trellis provide nearly the amount of support and stability as a wooden stake or metal wire fence that you tie your tomatoes to possibly could? And there's actually an engineering explanation to that. When you tie your tomato plants to a rigid surface, like a tomato stake or a piece of welded wire fence or cattle panel, that structure, along with your tomato plant, is absorbing nearly 100% of the force of the wind because it does not flex. Something very different is happening with these string trellises. You can see how they're bending and they are flexing harmonically with the wind. These string trellises have an element of expansion and deflection built into them. So as the wind blows, they expand and deflect in their motion with the wind. They are only absorbing a fraction of the total force of the wind that a tomato stake or a piece of rigid cattle panel or a metal wire fence will absorb. So anything you tie to these string trellises are going to bend and flex with the wind and they're not going to get nearly as beaten up because they're not going to absorb nearly the amount of force from the wind. And the last thing I want to discuss with you on this video is my claim that you can grow your tomatoes or cucumbers to a virtually unlimited height with this string trellis method. Like I've mentioned multiple times, up here I have over 20 feet of twine spooled up. You'll see if I unwrap the twine right here, I will be effectively lowering my cucumber or my tomato to the ground. So what happens is your cucumbers and your tomatoes, they fruit up the vine. And then as the fruits from the bottom of the vines mature, you will be able to pick them off and remove them and just be left with a clean vine that you can then spool on the ground like a garden hose. You can coil up your tomato and cucumber vines like a garden hose and just keep letting this string down and let it continually trellis up and up the, up the string infinitely. You can put a hundred feet of string on here if you want and that will allow you to grow in theory a 100 foot tall tomato or cucumber vine if it were physically possible to grow such a plant that big. And then you simply tie them up as necessary. And now my, my cucumber right here is picked right back up the way it was and as that continues to grow if it reaches this height right here I will simply lower the cucumber down as I need it because I have all of the trellis that I want right up here. 
And there you have it, everybody. That is what I think is the absolute best method of trellising indeterminate tomatoes out there. Everyone, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for future updates and more videos like these. If you're curious about anything I use in my garden, including all of the equipment that you see to build this trellis, everything I use is linked in my Amazon storefront in the video description. Thank you all again so much for watching, and I hope to see all of you again on the next video.